Today we're going to get started on making a table, kind of like a bistro table with a wine barrel. So that's, you got the barrel. And I'm used to making little tables like this, but I want something a little taller, like something that you could stand around. So it's going to be a little taller like that. So this is a normal wine barrel. Um, this barrel was a taller one, it was a cigar barrel. And so it's a couple inches taller than a regular barrel, which is going to make it a better height for standing or even sitting at. But like anything, prep work is really important before assembly. Safety first. That tartaric acid here. I'm doing a tongue oil finish on this wood. So I'm gonna lay a head down and a ring. So next we're gonna to try to assemble the table. And um, this part is a little tricky because you wanna fit the head inside the groove on the stave and then put the ring over it to help pin it all down. So with a shorter table, if you just have a stand of some kind, I don't have a stand this tall though. So you're gonna, fit the stave on the top, but then also fit it on the ring on the bottom so that it lines up okay. I think it's important to point out that I've edited this and it's at double speed. So give yourself a little bit of grace because it takes a while. All right, so it's not straight, but you get the general idea. The ring is holding it all in place, but I mean, we'll just say barely. All right, so we got it straightened out just a little better. And what I like about this ring is there's a ring line. See that? <laughs> so just fill the ring line, boom. So I'm gonna clamp this ring down first. So the challenge with the long legs is making sure that they sit straight. And so what I wanna do is attach the other head to the barrel um, like a jig to hold all the legs where they're supposed to be. And this is gonna give me a better idea of where the supports should sit. This was a process. <laughs> this barrel head is holding the legs together. I might not use this, but I might, I don't know. All right, so we flipped it back over and now we've got these pieces cut to their size. All right, so I've got single screws in on the bottom. I don't have the rings tied on yet. It's definitely still wobbly. So I'm used to building a table this size, which, and this is sturdy. So I think I'll put in the rivets now and see how sturdy it gets from that. So another thing that I'm noticing with the taller table is that this supporting board, it's not a pretty underside and it's exposed between the rings. So I'm gonna experiment. So this ring came from this barrel, but this ring came from a normal sized barrel. And so it doesn't slide down as far, but it's going to hide that. I don't know. And now I'm looking at this, hold on. I have some rings painted black and I think the black's gonna look a lot better. So I'm gonna paint these rings and then I'll go have some lunch. All right, first rivets are in. You ever have one of those projects that you think about for a long time and then you get started on it and you go, ooh, there's a lot more to this than I was expecting there to be. All right, so as the table starts coming together, uh, I don't know what I think of the ring and the head on the bottom. All right, so I added this second shelf there. We could put purse hooks on it or something. Now I don't like that. Done. Also a good idea to put screws right here. Kind of cool. If I were to do anything further, I'd probably want a glass top because it sinks in. Um, purse hooks for that level. And then maybe flatter feet because there is a little bit of natural unevenness. And of course, just knowing how to paint in general. All right, so it's just finished work from here. Um, thanks for tagging along, we'll see you next time. 